This one's gonna be on a stream launcher. It is a way to watch uh, streaming videos like sports uh, and I think movie channels and all these other stuff. Uh, similar to Sopcast that we talked about a long time ago, but uh, that's what we're gonna do here. Anyways, install the program and well, you need to install what was it called? A stream. You need to install two things. Uh, a stream launcher is the the program but you also need to install the engine um which requires it to uh to work okay so install those two things but really it's easy you just type in you know a stream and then uh launcher and you also put in the link here so i'm going to get some links here for example we'll do this soccer thing whatever and we'll copy the link and then you just paste it in you might have to do it in quotes we're doing quotes just to be safe. So let's wait for it here. Now look at that. It will use by default the uh, VLC um, GUI, right? So this is the GUI. And does it work now? Okay, there we go. So this is the GUI uh, version of VLC, and you can watch your stream here. Pretty simple. Um, so that's pretty much it for the program however I like to um, I guess uh, change it a little bit and use it from the command line uh, do it uh, similar to what we did before with uh, what was that the uh, Sopcast that I talked about a long time ago uh, we're gonna do the same thing here and we're gonna create our own you know add in our own channel so we don't have to do it later but um, I also added uh, different players, so I, I usually suggest you using if you're using um, a stream is use VLC either the GUI version of VLC or the command line one. I prefer the command line one when I'm doing this, so um, that's what I'm gonna show you here. Um, so these are some functions here. So if you want to use different players like MPV, M player, or something like that, all you gotta do is add the uh, dash dash player flag and then you uh, type in the player name and then you know your arguments whatever it is for your um link right so that's what we're gonna do if you want to try uh, it with um something else let's say a uh, the ace stream we we'll do cvlc is that c stream cvlc and it pretty much does the same thing let's pick another link here Let's do this uh, basketball shit or whatever. All right, and I wanna paste that in. And this time it's just gonna run it um, using the command line version of VLC. So you don't have any um, GY options. So we'll see here, all right? There's no um, there's no other options you can do. You just watch the, the stream only. So that's my preferred method. And then after you have it correct, um, what do we do? We just copy one of these down here. So you create another function and we'll call this one, um, that shit was tennis, right? Or something like that. We'll call it tennis. And basically you just, you know, change out this, um, what was this one here? Change out that and we'll paste in, you know, our new link here, right? And then um, save it. And we'll reload our shell here. And we're gonna do ACC. And it was called tennis, and it should um, work. So we'll wait for it here. Load the damn thing, please. And there we go. And uh, pretty much that's how I would, you know, set my channels if I was doing this um, that we did before. So I just all I got to do if I'm on um, Z Shell here, I do ACC dash and I can you know toggle between all my uh, channels uh, and I can select from there right so on and so forth you get the idea anyways that's what I do for that now as far as how you get the channels and stuff like that um, most of these are dedicated to like the sports events so the channel will be up during that event you know let's say uh, uh, if there's a basketball game tomorrow that channel usually just exists for that hour or something like that. Um, if you're watching sports, if you're watching like movie channels or something like that, then it might be 
um, you know, more permanent. But anyways, I, I'll show you all of the links that I've used. So first of all, if you can use Google, okay, Google, and especially if it's a sports uh, event, you want to um, search with the Stream protocol here. And you want to search it by week or or last 24 hours, depending on, you know, when the, the game is going to be on or something like that. And, uh, you know, some people post links like in Reddit here or something like that. You'll have, um, hopefully, links or some people begging for it or something like that. Uh, let's say this one here, Seahawks. And they'll give you some links here and you can try to use that, so on and so forth. Um, so that's one way to, to figure it out. Another one is this one is uh, a stream, no, a sub listing dot in. And this one's pretty cool. I use this one for watching uh, some sports also. And what's some other stream here? Arena vision this one's pretty cool too it has like a stream and sopcast so i use this one for both um if i want to watch you know sopcast or a stream but the link in here is kind of weird they put it like hidden in here but you can see like a, a little android logo or vlc logo and at the bottom you can just right click on this and um copy the link and that will give you you know the url here right for a stream so that's how you do that and they do have like um, I think in here they have like when the games will be on or something like that so you can check back on here if you want to watch some sports uh, this one's dedicated mainly to sports here but that's another one and stream magazine mix or some shit like that this one uh, they do have like regular streams but if you want to filter it out uh, for the protocol you click on the protocol here and you go a stream now a little um, thing on this one um, I don't know some of these channels my I guess most of these channels don't work uh, or maybe they're off like at certain hours because these ones are from I believe Russia and uh, some of these streams might not work so your mileage may vary when you're using these links here All right but that's another uh, site that I use here and what's the last one? This one here. This one's probably not that good. I mean, most of the streaming here are dead, but it's there. I put it in there. Listen, if you want to check it out. Um, so those are some of the links that I would use if you want to watch uh, a stream channel. And uh, as far as like setting up your own channel, just create a new function, right? And uh, you know, paste in a new link, or whatever, and you're good to go. And this is your default player. So I like using CVLC, like I said, but you can, you know, use MPV and stuff like that also. Anyways, I posted this in the description if you want to watch some streaming videos. I probably suggest this one just for like sports channels and stuff like that. And um, maybe Sopcast uh, for like movies and stuff like that because that's what I use it for. Anywho, that's a stream launcher uh, for the command line. I mean, yeah, it's a GUI, but, you know, it still has command line options. That'd be it for this one. All right, long video.